Hey guys, what's up? So I'm um, working on a project that I had a while back. Um, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it that way. Oh, um, so how can I do this? Um, but I want to, let's not do that one then. Um, can't really zoom doing it this way. Uh, so this particular project um, is made with embroidery floss as well as cool, which is basically um, yarn. So this is, uh, this is the project. Um, I had this project uh, many, many years ago, and I went to an orthopedics appointment on the bus because I didn't have a car, and I came home with the instructions, the yarn, but not the project. So this is how I keep my yarn organized. So I, th I th thread it out, and I just knot it on a, a camper, just a dollar store one. So actually, what I'm going to try to show you, I'm going to try to show you it as close as possible. I learned um, watching a leatherworking video. First of all, mm, there's the eye of the needle and it's not in focus. There we go. So I'm going to put the, eye of the, ne the needle threader in through the eye of the needle. This needle is a bit small for this type of material, um, but it's what I could find. And just like regular thread, pull it through the threader. With this kind of thread and this size needle, you don't want to go too long. Um, and then you're just going to work on pulling that through. Um, if I had a bigger needle, this wouldn't be so difficult. But um, at some point, the needle that I used with this project disappeared. All right, so here's what I have always done because I learned how to crochet or embroider uh, just from browsing picture books. Um, my mother didn't teach me. She probably would have, but she didn't um, because I didn't ask her because I knew how because I read the books. I looked at the pictures. Uh, embroidery is very easy to do picture wise hold on let me check okay um so here's what i learned because when you do it like this there are times where this will just pull out and then you have to go back through all, that whole um process of um threading it again and again you saw how that wasn't necessarily simple you want to go i'd say two inches from the um, end and go into your thread bring it closer to me so I can see and I like to go right between the two um, in because this is a uh, double twined um, yarn right in between the two and even though it's not technically a knot it is um, but it's going to be, it's not going to catch on the fabric. Like if you knotted it at the end, it's not going to catch on the fabric. It also allows you to get very much closer to the edge of the um, thread before you have to cut. So it's a lot less waste um, in regards to that. Um, again, no pullouts, which drive me nuts. Um, this one right here, I might as well just try to just pull it out from the back and redo it because it, um, actually gave out, but that's because, um, and it doesn't look very good. I'm doing this very, very tight work here on the silo. The, the brown was good, but the orange didn't turn out so perfect. Um... But with that very tight work, it just, it wore out the thread coming through. 
So what I'm going to do is use my needle hair on the back. And all I did was slip it, slip it under the edge and pull it out, pull it out on the back. Boom. Now I'll snip that, put that over there because I can still use that. And then I'm actually going to see if I can aim this at you and still do it. Um, because I'm going in with another piece of thread, I'm going to go in through those pieces that are already in existence. Pull it close to the end. And for this, because I'm restarting in the middle, I'm going to go into that thread just like I did, um the end of the one I'm using and then I'm also going to pick up a little bit on that part that I cut off just to make sure that everything is all cinched together and nothing's pulling out and that's only going to take up about a half a centimeter and then I'm going to finish off that row of the silo <coughs> Um, so right here is what I'm doing. Mm. So um, here's the silo and here is part of the barn and then I have this mm, silo and a barn. I'm doing seven. Um, and I'm going to get that finished before I do put this away for the day. Um, now these aren't perfect photocopies. I had great photocopies, um, uh, but something happened to them during the move. I haven't seen them since the move. So this is the actual instruction booklet. Um, it's double-sided, um, and it's, if you fold it out, it's, um, four pieces of, of paper. So, um, 23 by 17. Uh, yeah, that's 11 and a half plus 8, or times 8 and a half times 2. Or by 8 and a half times 2. Um, so one thing is, I don't want to have to open this every time. Um, I don't want to mark on this. So I, what I did was I photocopied it. I actually scanned it and photocopied it. And then on my photocopies... Um, this is only since I've started with these photocopies. Um, I mark in one color which areas I'm doing. So I'm doing everything that was seven. And then anything that has been done, I also X out. So if you look at my project, all those wonderful areas that are complete with yellow, brown, um, and gold, and now this, this pretty orange color, and a little bit of white on the clouds. Um, I just really liked that. I, I had to do that. The If you can see the, the um, back stitch, the rolled back stitch that I did there, that really just made them look fluffy. I really liked it. And with white, I mean, you don't really have very many. White is white. Um, and they're the clouds, so they're on their own see and with that little um loop that i did moving my project around i don't have to worry about loosening this because even if it gets pulled it's not going anywhere so that's good um yes yeah, so i have those areas that i've already done marked off um but i don't want to be marking off on my original um hold on i did that part the reason i don't want to mark off on the original is 
in case I make a mistake. Like, I did make a mistake... Oh, right here on the 4B. Uh, I thought that was the building because I did finish the building right here. But that 4B isn't the building. That 4B is the doors and the windows. So I'd marked that out, but I was incorrect. Um, I, thought I, I swear I already did four. What else is four? Four is the second shirt. Nope, I did not do four. And then another thing that I've got, well, I'm, I've got you. Um, this is actually, this was my father's. Um, still has his original, some of his original stickers. Um, it actually, this is ironic, it has my ex's, um, a little thing, because I used this when, uh, after dad died, I used this when I would write to Stevie. These are all my dad's. These are from my brother going to the doctor. The whole thing had Velcro, and I'm going to actually, I've got Velcro. I'm going to put this up on the wall so I don't lose it. Um, it's got a hole here, and what I do, if you noticed my, um, needle threader has a clip on it, so that goes here. So do these. And it goes on the pen holder. Uh, my instructions. Get clamped down. All of them. And it's got these little clamps right here that Dad added. Yeah, Dad did all that. Um, and then inside, it's got the remainder of this, some safety pins, a couple more of these. I think I got these. And look at how, the difference between this one and the red one. Um, yeah, the red one is all twisted because that's the one I use. Um, these are... Oh, there it is. That's the needle I'm supposed to be using. It was actually in the thread. Or in the yarn. Um, but I'm going to explain why this is all here and in half knots. Just little slip pulls. So it's all together. Um, and then I have this. This was amazing. Um, I don't have the link to this anymore. Why is that blue over there without a number? Oh, because it's this blue. Because I only have a li very little bit of it. Just like, not like as much as I have of the green. Look, loose pieces. Just going in here. Um, but I got this off of Amazon. I don't have the link. It does come apart. It also has, and I think it had refills of this part. Um, but you can just make them. So this is, um, yeah, see, I'll just copy that. Uh, but this is just the number guide. And it slides in the bottom. Um, then there is, under that, there's a level, a, a layer of felt, and then the foam, and then more plastic. Um, the needle can go right here, in there, but when it's closed, it doesn't work that way. Um, but it has these, the, oops, the foam has these little grooves, and it's got these. So this is a great thread organizer for this particular 
project that has massive okay so four is white that's why none of the fours are done except for the clouds i know i worked out the fours though um so i'm only actually using three types of embroidery floss and the rest of it's the cruel and so this way i can at least number it and be able to um know which number equals what um so i've definitely done i haven't done any uh i've only done a little bit of four and a little bit of five i've done almost all of six i think i do have six done i've got some six done i don't know if i got it all um and i'm working on seven and then i'll just work through the numbers until it's done um put that back safely in there there's another pinhole here but there's also a um, area for pens I'm going to put my little tomato pen cushion in here I'm going to continue to use the needle I've already loaded until um, until I finish that thread um, and then I'm going to go to the big one but I'm still going to do that that tuck at the end um, but I want to show you on my photocopies, so I don't have to keep opening the, the big one. Um, so this is mainly what you're going to do the the big side. So the, the instructions have a big side. Um, so, and, and there's a little bit missing in between. I think yeah there's a little bit missing and I can look at the um, instructions for that um, but it goes like this and then this one goes here and there's another one that goes there and that's uh, blown up on those um, those buildings and on the people and then this side the other side there's the other part of the road So, and this side's more the outlines and such. Oh, I'm not even showing you. This side's the outlines and such. And um, I tried to do something different with my printer, so I didn't get these borders. I couldn't figure it out. I will call it sim later, or HP later. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll show you. Um, this is the, the one with the hula hoop. I was doing the one with, I had the one with the hula hoop in my hand earlier. Pretty sure the hula hoop one has, is the same one that has the, Okay, so I was looking at the actual thing and the hula hoop. So this little girl, this is the girl with the hula hoop. And there she is again. And it shows, this shows up front how to make her. And then this shows how to do the hula hoop. And that is on... not on the front of this so one of the ones that i thought was really interesting and i am so late i should just be working on my barn i'm gonna put this all up put this right here um so looking at the instructions those little up close instructions you can't really tell what everything is so let's see if we can bring it up up here 
this is a beach area up here. And if you see where my little gold is, or my little, uh, my red, that's part of an umbrella. But when I looked at it on the instructions, as I, right here, whatever reason, I thought that was a pile of hay. Let's see. So the little girl is going to be over here. So here's my hula hoop girl. And then, I mean, it's just you would open this a hundred times. So there she is again, holding her hula hoop. That's on the actual instructions. Wow, I mean, it's just so hard to imagine. And so, like, like I said, I had this years ago. Um, and I bought it on Amazon, or on eBay, because it's from the, the 60s. Um, the original, the, the sample isn't in there. I think it's, it's wherever my other copies are. Um, but my mom gave it to me, and I was working really hard on it, and it disappeared, and I was not happy. But I have to get, I'm going to have to set this down, because i got to work on my kitchen. I will talk to you later. Oh, we, me and Jason busted ass on Mario last night. Busted ass. Um, was it last night or the, uh, the, the other day? Um, so we got through... To the first castle in World 5. And we very, very, very carefully got all the star coins in the first two levels of World 2. We have not been able to beat World 1. I've been, or I'm sorry, World 3. Land 1. At all. <laughs> um, but we are definitely, we've been working on it. Um, I think this weekend is going to be a no Nintendo time. Because we've got a lot to do. Um, getting ready for Christmas. Plus, that game has to be packed. Or, it has to be wrapped. Because it's my Christmas present. I got a, a game. <laughs> Alright, well, I will talk to you later. Love y'all. Bye.